made the headstock look like a Telecaster. So it's a very unique looking base because it kind of looks like a Telecaster headstock, but the body is very much a Rickabucker and it's small scale and he made it electric blue and it's beautiful. And it's also the best sounding base I've ever heard. Um, so uh, that's my that's my go to right now. It got stolen uh, once yeah, years ago. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, I read on top it of got, <laughs> yeah, it got stolen from my house along with a bunch of other stuff, and I was I had just kind of given up. But my my boss at the time took a picture of it and was and got this guy to send it around to guitar centers and different places where it might show up and and by some miracle uh 10 days later I got the bass back but while that was happening Mike knew I was in in a really bad way and so he had another one started and so now I have a a blonde one that is built in a in the similar way a three-quarter scale with the same look but it's funny every guitar sounds different right so these guitars even though they were built the same way they sound totally different so um when your bass was stolen how long was it missing 10 days <laughs> it's crazy i know it was absolutely crazy the guy, the guy showed up at a guitar center and the guy who who uh recognized it had seen a picture he was transferred for one day to that guitar center he had seen a picture at it at another guitar center this picture had shown up and it is a very unique looking guitar and he just said to the guy yeah, I'm going to have to take a picture of your driver's license because that's what you have to do when you sell a guitar at Guitar Center. It's a big chain, right? Um, and the guy just panicked and he left the, his license and the bass and took off. Uh, so he knew he he got the vibe. And I get a call from, you know, the Northridge police station and I show I show up there and uh the guy walks out with the bass and and he looks at my face and he says, you know, usually I look for proof of ownership, but it's just written all over your face. <laughs> I was practically, <laughs> practically crying, right? And 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 he could see just by the look on my face uh, what it meant to me that he is holding my bass guitar. So that's um, pretty much. Did you find out anything about the person who stole it from you? Well, he showed me the driver's license and said, do you recognize this person? And I said, no. And that was kind of that. I mean, he said the most we could get him for, even if we got him, was possession of stolen property. We can't prove that he was in your house. You know, it's not like the TV shows. They, you know, get good fingerprints that they can then match to the guy or anything. You know, so uh, so nothing really ever came about it. I always felt like, I kind of knew what had happened because we had some some vendors in our house doing a repair job. So I felt like sort of maybe they'd scoped out the place, uh, how they might break in. But but I don't know. We have a better, better alarm system now. Um, 